the movie Lobster. Warning, spoilers ahead. The movie is set in a dystopian near future city where it is against the law to not have a partner. Single people are sent to the hotel where they have 45 days to find a partner with whom they share similar trivial traits which are believed to be the main key to partner compatibility. If in 45 days they don't find a partner, they will be transformed into an animal of their choice. Singles are able to get extra days if they capture single outcasts known as loners in the forest. Matched pairs are sent on a 15-day tryout vacation as their final compatibility test. If the couple has troubles in their relationship, they are given children because children can solve all the couple's problems. The movie begins with an architect, David. His wife left him for another man after 12 years of marriage. David is single now and he has taken to the hotel. He is allowed to take his dog with him because it used to be his brother. At the hotel, David expresses his wish to find a female partner. They take all of his belongings and send him to a single room where he finds a sedative gun, darts, and clothes. Through the window of his room, David sees guests arriving from hunts with the sleeping bodies of the captured loners. A hotel manager visits David and welcomes him. She asks him what animal he would like to be turned into in case he doesn't find a partner. David chooses to be the lobster because they live for hundreds of years, are fertile, and have blue blood like aristocrats. The manager likes his choice because most people want to be a dog. She orders the servant to tie David's hands to his belt for 24 hours so he can learn that life is much easier when there are two of everything. The hotel has many regulations. Singles can play sports like golf, but only couples can play tennis. The staff of the hotel provides them with clothes, smoking isn't allowed, and the dining room has separated areas for singles and couples, for breakfast singles aren't allowed to share the table, and touching themselves is forbidden, but the stimulation from the hotel maid is mandatory. During David's first breakfast, he befriends Robert, who has a lisp, and John, who has a limp. They're asked to introduce themselves to the hotel group and to define their characteristics such as David being short-sighted. That evening, they attend a dinner party. David starts to dance with a woman who easily nosebleeds. Robert dances with a woman who is considered heartless and has a hunting record of 192 loners. John dances with a woman who is obsessed with biscuits. All three of them didn't make any connection with their dance partners. After the party, the guests are taken to the woods to hunt loners. David has a hard time shooting the loners. When the hunt is over, he doesn't get any extra days. Guests are required to watch a propaganda demonstration about the benefits of being in a relationship with absurd examples. One day on their way to the hunt, the biscuit woman gives David treats for his dog and starts flirting with him, but David isn't interested. She says to David she will kill herself if she doesn't find a partner. After a couple of days, Robert asks David and John what animal they have chosen. Robert wants to be a parrot and suggests it would be great if all three of them are parrots so they can remain friends after the transformation. John insults Robert's idea which makes Robert angry. They start a fight but David separates them. John has a plan to hit his nose on purpose so he can easily make a connection with the nose bleeding woman. David knows John is lying, but John would rather lie than be transformed into an animal or hunted in the woods. David agrees with him. John's plan worked out great. He and Nosebleed Woman are accepted as a couple. David has only seven days to find a partner. He has a small talk with Pretty Hair Woman who is on her last day. After David looks through the window and finds out the Pretty Hair Woman has become a pony. David plays golf and realizes that pretending to have feelings is much harder than pretending not to. He decides to follow John's idea and tries to connect with the heartless woman. One day a biscuit woman tries to kill herself. David takes this chance to approach the heartless woman to tell her that he hopes the biscuit woman will die quickly so he can have his peace back. Heartless woman allows him to talk to her another time. A few hours later, both of them are in the jacuzzi. The heartless woman pretends to be choking and David doesn't help her. This convinces her that they are made for each, that they are the same. Both agree that they are each other's match. The hotel manager accepts them as a couple. She gives them a double room to spend 15 days together before they are sent on a trip. They start to spend time together and sometimes it works, but most of the time it is awkward.
One morning, heartless woman tells David she beat his brother to death. David pretends he doesn't care, but as soon as she leaves the room and he sees the dog's body, he breaks down. Heartless woman finds him crying. She slaps him and accuses him of lying. She admits she killed the dog on purpose because she was suspicious of him. Relationships can't be built on lies, so she will tell the manager about this and David will be punished by transforming into an animal nobody wants to be. Fortunately, David gets the chance to run away. The heartless woman starts chasing him. A maid helped David to hide in a room. David takes the sedative gun and shoots heartless woman. A maid helps him with the body. Maid tells David to shoot her as well so no one can suspect she helped him. David does so. David takes heartless woman's body into the transformation room to transform her into an animal. Afterward, David escapes the hotel into the woods. The next day, he is found by a group of loners. The leader accepts David into the group. She tells him an important rule. Romantic relationships between loners are forbidden. If he tries, he will be punished. Conversations are allowed, but flirting isn't. This also applies to their dance nights. They play electronic music to dance by themselves. A man with bandages on his mouth gives him the supplies. David asks other loner what has happened to him. He replies he was punished for flirting. They cut their lips with a razor and make them kiss. They call it the red kiss. There is another punishment called the red intercourse. David starts his life with the loners. They train in the woods to hide and run from hunters. The leader asks them to dig their own graves if the worst happens, like one loner got caught in a bear trap and is left alone to free himself. David still hasn't started to dig his own grave. A fellow female loner has noticed David. She is short-sighted like him. They are attracted to each other, but hide it. One day, people from the hotel come into the woods to hunt David. Robert finds David who wants to capture him because he has only two days left. David distracts Robert while short-sighted woman stabs Robert in the leg. David takes Robert's sedative gun and shoots him. The short-sighted woman makes David promise her not to tell anyone she has helped him. David will repay the favor by hunting a rabbit for her. Meanwhile, the leader meets with the hotel maid who has been the mole for loners this whole time. She has brought guns and keys to the double rooms in the hotel. Maid suggests using the items on Saturday. She informs the leader she will quit her job because she can't stand her husband. The leader tells her she is welcome to join them after. David catches two rabbits and leaves them for the short-sighted woman. The next day, the leader, a loner man, David, and the short-sighted woman change into nice clothes and go to the city. They pretend they are couples. They go to a shopping mall where they buy some supplies. The police officers in the mall are checking that nobody is alone. David is almost caught, but short-sighted woman shows up and kisses him. They all leave the mall holding hands. David finds out that she is also short-sighted just like him. They leave the city. After bonding with a short-sighted woman, David joins a group of loners that will sabotage the work in a hotel. David is assigned to break into the yacht. When they arrive at the hotel, David shoots the guard so he can steal the boat. At the yacht, David finds John and his wife having dinner. David tells the nose-bleeding woman that John has been lying to her. John kicks David out. Later, they broke into hotel manager's room. She and her husband are in bed sleeping. The leader threatens to kill them with a gun. The leader gives the gun to the husband to kill his wife. When he pulls the trigger, nothing happens. The loners leave them. That night, the loners celebrate by dancing to electronic music. The leader says to David that he has to dig his grave. The next day, David sees another loner man giving a rabbit to short-sighted woman and gets jealous. David says to short-sighted woman that she should only receive the rabbits from him. Soon they begin a secret relationship. They broke all the loner's rules. They're happy together and decide to escape the city when the hotel hunters come around. That way, everyone will think they were captured. The leader is suspicious and finds out about their plans. She decides to stop them. David finally digs his grave. The leader takes a short-sighted woman to a city to get eye correction surgery. When it's time for a surgery, the doctor blinds her instead, just as the leader had paid him to do so. They arrive in the woods and the blind woman threatens to kill her but instead kills the other loner. Later, the blind woman meets with David so they can finish planning their escape. At first, she pretends she can see, but soon tells him the truth. 
David says they will figure something out. He asks her questions so they have another thing in common. He asks blind woman to hiss him, but she refuses. He gets angry and leaves. After a few days, they finally see each other. He has a plan for how to escape. The next day, he attacks the leader and ties her up. He leaves her in his grave where she is eaten by wild dogs. David and blind woman leave the forest and go to the city. They make it safely to the city and enter a restaurant. David asks the blind woman to show him her parts of the body. He asks a waiter for a fork and knife. The movie ends with David in the restaurant bathroom with the knife with which he tries to blind himself. We never find out if he did it.